Based on internal documents published by the New York Times, Elon Musk's social network business X could lose up to $75 million as a result of his backing of an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. Following Musk's foolish tweet on November 15, a number of businesses said they would no longer be running advertisements on his platform, including Apple, IBM, Disney, and Paramount. However, the latest documents reveal that even more businesses are leaving, which will negatively impact X's already precarious finances. More than 200 ad units from businesses, including Microsoft, Coca-Cola, Airbnb, and Amazon, are listed in the records as having stopped or are thinking about stopping their social media advertising. According to the research, dozens of other firms are classified as at risk, and over 100 brands are shown as having fully paused their advertisements. Employees at X believe that if advertisers do not come back, the company may lose a total of $75 million in ad income by year's end. Airbnb has discontinued over $1 million worth of advertising, and Uber has reduced over $800,000 worth of ads. X estimated that the value of Netflix's suspended ads was close to $3 million, while Microsoft's companies stopped spending $4 million. According to the report, Google's subsidiary and Amazon's book and music divisions have likewise ceased advertising. There will be a significant impact on X's earnings. The business brought in $1.57 billion in revenue in the final quarter of 2022, the last year it disclosed fourth quarter results prior to Musk taking leadership. Nearly 90% of the revenue came from advertising. For $44 billion in October 22, Musk acquired the business. He terminated many of the content filtering guidelines that advertisers valued and slashed almost 80% of the workforce. To allay concerns, he appointed seasoned advertising executive Linda Yakarino as CEO in June. In just one year, Must has witnessed the value of his firm collapse. As of last month, it was estimated to be worth $19 billion. In a statement released on Friday, X stated that the $75 million amount mentioned in the article was either an internal exercise to determine overall risk or it was outdated although the precise amount varied depending on which advertisers raised their spending or returned to the platform. The company estimated that the amount was closer to $11 million. In a letter to staff on Wednesday, Yakarino laid the blame for the unrest on Media Matters for America, claiming that the organization had drawn attention to anti-Semitic content on X and scared off sponsors. Currently, Musk is suing the watchdog. Yakarino stated that kowtowing to external criticism or pressures is simply not how X will ever operate. Those who work at X are advocates for free speech. We are in agreement with individuals who support both this essential right and the vital checks and balances of a robust democracy. Musk made an effort to mitigate the negative effects of his tweet from November 15 by stating on November 19 that there were hundreds of bogus media stories claiming that I am anti-Semitic this past week. Nothing could be further from the truth, he continued. I hope everyone has a prosperous and exciting future and the best passable future for Hugh May. Prior to this, Musk was accused of anti-Semitism when he made a comparison between the Jewish financier George Soros and the X-Men villain Magneto, who controls the globe and believes that mutants rather than humans should rule. In May, after it was revealed that Soros Investment Group had sold off all of its Tesla stock, he posted the remarks on Twitter. In response to anti-defamation league CEO Jonathan Greenblatt, Elon Musk stated that while the billionaire South African-born man was not anti-Semitic, his comments were risky. He's undoubtedly the world's most powerful individual, in charge of what is effectively our public square. Greenblatt stated, when he perpetuates conspiracy theories, that feeds the extremists. To which Musk retorted, to be fair, I have to admit that Joel makes a valid point. Going forward, I promise to be more considered. Later on, he changed his tweet to read Jonathan. Comic book analogies are obviously imperfect, to put it mildly, Musk went on. George Soros is not Magneto just because he can bend metal with his mind. Anyway, the real reason I'm worried about Soros is that, in my opinion, he has financed a lot of politicians and district attorneys who are tolerant of violent crime, which has greatly harmed a lot of communities. 
Additionally, even while I strongly support increasing legal immigration, we need to screen new arrivals to make sure that dangerous criminals don't prey on innocent Americans. The Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs reported that following Musk's tweet, a plethora of conspiracy theories surfaced on the platform, with the hashtag the Jews becoming a trend. Researchers have been discovered in June that since Musk took over the company in October 22, the number of anti-Semitic tweets in the English language has more than doubled. He maintains he is against anti-Semitism of any type, but has threatened to sue the Anti-Defamation League, an anti-hate group, for defamation after it chastised him for permitting anti-Semitic information online. When questioned about anti-Semitism in September, Musk sidestepped the subject in an interview with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Musk chose to talk more broadly about hate speech rather than address the topic directly, other than to state that he is obviously against. Reiterating his confidence that the Tesla CEO does not hold anti-Semitic beliefs, Netanyahu brought up the matter of Musk's defense in the past when he was accused of repeating stereotypes about Jewish investor George Soros. During their ex-conversation, the 73-year-old Israeli leader said to Musk, I know of your opposition to anti-Semitan. All I can say is that I hope you can use the protections of the First Amendment to prohibit anti-Semitism or at least slow it down, as well as any broader hatred of the Jewish people that anti-Semitism represents. Musk responded, Obviously, I'm against anti-Semitan. I really oppose everything that incites hatred and strife, and I support anything that advances society and moves us closer to a better future for all people. However, the SpaceX CEO offered no explanation or defense for his divisive remarks about Soros, which included drawing comparisons between him and the X-Men villain Magneto, who controls the world and believes that mutants rather than humans should be in pound. It's crucial to bear in mind that there are 550 million monthly users who may soon reach 600 million, he said, speaking about hate speech on X in general. There are between 100 and 200 million posts to the system on any given A. There is a ton of content here. There will be some awful ones among those. You can't police it beforehand, but you can say, oh, it's getting reported as hate speech, after the fact. Since that's probably not what people want to hear, we won't promote speech.